You guys are not gonna believe what just showed up. I mean, a truckload of parts came for the LBZ. Now, I think you guys might wanna watch this video from start to finish because we are going to install pretty much everything on this video today, so stay tuned. I went ahead and ordered a set of Nitto Recon Grapplers, and these are all terrains. These are fresh, hot off the press. I'm probably one of the, one of the very first and few to receive a set of these. Extremely excited to see what these look like on the truck, but let me explain to you guys why I went with these exact tires versus anything else. I read the comments, you guys make fun of me sometimes about the rubber band tires. Still plenty of tread on them, but the thing is, is they're a good highway tire. They're not loud at all. Um, they balance really good. Take this thing off road every once in a while. We go out, we pull the trailer, we take it out to the woods. We pick up wood, cut it, chop it, stack it at the house because I got to stay warm in the winter. This truck actually is used. I take this thing outdoors all the time so these aren't going to cut it i've been stuck a couple times already not going to happen so what i'm trying to say is i don't want to go too aggressive but i sort of want to keep the same look is where i'm getting at but i do want to step it up just a notch again guys these are fresh these are brand new no one's actually seen these yet these are the recon grappler all-terrain tire which is pretty cool this tread pattern here is that it's very flat everything's really close together these channels right here so it's not super aggressive like for example a lot of you guys know these tires these are the mud grapplers and you can hear them singing coming down the road which is pretty awesome but when you're driving it every day sometimes it does get kind of annoying you guys can see tread pattern is very similar actually this is very similar to the toyo open countries if i'm not mistaken it's basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to rock 22 by 14s on a work truck essentially even though it doesn't look like it but i work it all the time compromise the aggressiveness in the tread that i'm looking to get after so this is absolutely perfect for what i'm trying to do you guys are probably wondering why in the world do i have all these parts well, the daytona truck meet in florida at daytona beach my truck is a daily, it's not perfect. I, actually, I'm gonna show you all my imperfections really quick. You know, you see a lot of pictures on Instagram, Facebook, even YouTube, and you see these trucks, they look beautiful, but when you see them in person, they look hit, man, they look destroyed. It's crazy what pictures and videos will do until you actually see it in person. I mean, yeah, Old Red looks really nice, it does. Even in person, it does. But there's just, there's some things about it that really just shouldn't be there let me show you really quick and we're going to be correcting that in this video today curbed it really bad i just covered it with paint for now but what i'm going to do guys is i'm actually going to go ahead and repair these wheels um this is all curb rash right here you know, we have a few other little nicks and dings on these wheels you know we have another one right here good old mcdonald's drive through frame i use some chassis saver it's holding up pretty good i've driven it in the winter a few times already um but it's pretty dull actually we chipped there so I'm gonna go ahead and tidy the frame up. Thank God I have the Lyft Superstore TLS hoist. I have that 12K vehicle hoist so I can actually do some real work. A fresh HSP air filter on this thing. I'm gonna clean up the piping. I'm also gonna go ahead and finally throw an inner fender wheel liner in there. Cool thing is I'm gonna be going to the Boost Auto Parts booth there at the Daytona truck meet. So they supplied me with a brand new set of mirrors as you can see they're scratched i'm also going to be leveling the new mirrors today and what i think is going to really transform the look of this vehicle right here is that i'm going to go ahead and paint match the mirror caps today as well i actually had the paint mixed at napa I'll be doing that right today so we're gonna do paint matched leveled boost auto parts mirrors tow mirrors it's gonna look amazing here's another thing that right there see how bad it popped out i'm gonna be replacing my front headlights they're foggy i've had them for a few years they just, you know, they're only 120 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the LED lights in the front. So I'll be showing you guys what I went with on that. Tailgate back in the day wasn't aligned. So it busted the rear tail lights on both sides. So I'll be replacing those today in this video. Recon grapplers will not be put on the truck for the truck show because tomorrow a logistics company will be up here. Actually WTF, you've probably heard of them before. They haul whistle and diesel stuff. They're going to be coming over here to pick up the LBZ Duramax, and they're going to be hauling it to Florida. I know what you guys are going to say. Why don't you just drive it to Florida? Well, a lot of it has to do with time. Uh, I won't be able to make it down there in time for the truck show, so I'll be flying out there. But let's be honest, guys. Anything happens to that truck while I'm headed down there, it's just going to be a nightmare. I don't want to deal with it. I'd rather just fly down there. But enough of the drama. Let's go ahead and show you what I have and what I'm going to be installing today in this video so i mean everything with the exception of the wheels and tires wait well, these are lt32550 r22s 35 inch tires and 
These Delente tires, another big reason why I ordered the Recon Grapplers is because these are 13 inches wide versus 12 and a half inches wide when we're sitting on 22 by 14s. I hope you guys got all that. But basically, I'm gonna have way more sidewall tread. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this really quick because I am so excited to finally use these. I've had them for a little bit now, but these are the V2 Monotube shocks from Rough Country. By the way, thanks for sending me the banner. I got a banner of these walls. I cannot wait to finally get all this stuff. It's gonna look good in here, guys. You're probably wondering why in the world would I switch out my Bilstein 5100s for a set of Rough Country shocks. It just doesn't make any sense. But these are actually a lot better. I bought the cheapest Bilstein shocks you can find on Amazon, actually. So I went ahead and upgraded them, and I'm really excited to run these. These are brand new. Shocks in particular feature an internal floating piston design that keeps the shock oil and high pressure nitrogen separate. I really believe that these shocks are gonna give me a smoother ride. So you guys to stay tuned because I'm gonna be trying these shocks out and I will definitely let you know how they ride here in the near future. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it, you know, a couple months before I know. I'm gonna be loading trailers with this, hauling tractors, trucks, whatever, and I'll give you guys a heads up. In my opinion, Boost Auto Parts probably has some of the best aftermarket tow mirrors on the market. I, this is considered a sequential switchback on this mirror right here. We talked about paintable caps, which we'll be doing in this video today. I'm gonna go ahead and paint those, clear coat them, snap them back on there, get these lights on there. Luckily, the lights are already wired, so all you gotta do is just pull the door panels and simply plug and play. This will be pretty simple. So we have a couple t-shirts, look at this right here. If you guys are out in Daytona, we're actually selling these at our booth. <laughs> I love it, man. I contacted the guys at Adrenaline Off-Road because I'm looking for some good wheel ring lights. These are going to be installed on the brake shield or the brake dust cover on your truck. And essentially what you could do is you can either bolt them on, you can rivet them on. There's all kinds of different ways you can do that. but. This is considered a double row and to throw some really cool wheel lights on the truck and just looking online, you can tell this isn't plastic. This is really, really high end quality stuff right here. So I actually asked on my Instagram, what is the best wheel lights to go after on the market? And everybody kept tagging these guys. So a uh, huge shout out to them. I'll leave a link in the description and I do appreciate all their customer support. Here's their information right there. This is your Bluetooth module. This is the RGB. W, which is white, and I mean white. You guys gotta see these in person. I've seen a lot of pictures. It is white, guys. It is blinding white. The good thing is, is everything is waterproof. Very nice touch. Instead of, if you don't wanna open up your app and wait for it to connect and all that other crazy stuff, you could just turn it on, change the colors. Very, very cool. Makes it streamlined. You can put it on your keys, leave it in your truck, whatever. But all you gotta do is just hit the button and all these guys will just turn on. The only reason why I'm installing this is because of Daytona, so the truck will look nice. But I'm not gonna be all pretty princess going through the woods. I don't care if these get destroyed. I don't care if I submerge them in water because they're pretty rugged. We're gonna be installing brand new brake pads and rotors. I went with the drilled and slotted rotors and ceramic brake pads. It's a no-brainer. You have to do it, especially on these three-quarter ton trucks. Like I showed you guys, foggy, broken, cracked, whatever. We're gonna be installing brand new front headlights, same exact headlights that we put on the Wife Max. I always get these questions, where do you order these lights? I got them from autosaver.com. I will leave that link in the description for you guys. I also went with the autosaver tail lights. These are the tinnable ones. They're basically the same exact ones. They're just not broken. So <laughs> I can't wait to put these on as well. Thing I looked over, I picked up a set of really nice cab lights because look at these. These cab lights are leaking on me, and they're just faded and nasty looking. I installed those about four years ago, four or five years ago. Well, guys, it's just me. I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to be probably burning the midnight oil on this one because it's going to take me eight, ten hours, and it's already midday, so not even midday. I think it's like 3 p.m., so I'm going to be working my butt off. I'm not going to sleep until this is done. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do a lot of videoing on this one. We're just going to go ahead and get her done, man. Stay tuned. So before we go any further, check this out. I had installed the wheel lights, the Rough Country shocks, which look amazing. And we went ahead and cleaned the frame up a little bit. What we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and install the Boost Auto Parts mirrors and the headlights and tail lights really quick. And we should be good to go. There's really not much left to do. I went ahead and polished and cleaned these wheels like you wouldn't believe, guys. So uh, I think we should be good for Daytona pretty soon here. 
It's, it's super late. It's I think like three or four in the morning and I need to get some sleep. <laughs> Fortunately, the truck will be here at 8 a.m. And also, man, I messed up big time. We don't have an inner fender. So uh, hopefully one of my buddies will come through in Florida and save the day for me because I can't roll like this. But we'll figure it out, guys. It's really not that big of a deal. I thought I had one, but I have two of the same side. Can you believe it? Really quick, I know I didn't show you how to install these right here, but it's really simple. All I did is I took these brackets right here and I simply bolted them to the brake shield. It's extremely time consuming, the just removing the brake pads, the rotors, just, you know, the bracket and all that. Just It's just a lot of work. It's kind of a pain that this is around the caliper, but like I said, all you gotta do is just push it out of the way and you'd be able to pull that off and on. I'm not gonna say no problem though, because it is kind of a challenge to squeeze that right in between the ring light here. But it's done. I didn't get everything done. I didn't do the cab lights because I honestly, I didn't even sleep, so. Let me show you guys what it looks like. saw that I talked about the adrenaline off-road wheel lights the only thing that I'm thinking is that I'm pretty sure that's gonna get dirty very dirty so I may end up having to go under there quite a bit and wiping them down with a rag but and again guys I'm very serious about this I use this truck to pull trailers and go in the woods and have to occasionally throw logs in a trailer and you know so this thing is going to be worked I don't care I know it looks nice right now but be worried about it but guys please let me know in the comments what you think I am so excited it looks like she's ready for a date or something like that I'm really pumped about these rough country v2 monotube shocks here I can't wait to actually put them to good use and see how they work but I'm a hundred percent sure they're gonna be a lot better than got to be straightforward with you guys I'm not digging the front headlights I thought the white would look cool because the wife max over there She's got them on her front end, but it looks stupid. It really does. The only reason why it looks cool is because the Boost Auto Parts um, switchback is on right now. It's white, but when everything's off, you just see these white lines on these headlights with a red truck, and there's no white on this truck at all. So it really sticks out like a sore thumb. It doesn't look very good. So I may end up going back on the website and ordering some darker headlights, but I did leave a link in the description below for the headlights if you guys are interested in checking it out. But really, these will look good on a white truck. As you guys can see, it just blends right in. It looks good. Serious eye candy. I think she's ready for a Daytona. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower really quick and wait for this trucking company to show up. I think I spent way too many hours cleaning this truck. So it's going to be worth it. Definitely going to be worth it. One more thing. Let me show you guys these right here. Check that out. Isn't that neat? I like that a lot better than the last setup I had. Love it. And the fact that the mirrors are leveled, man. It's been a long time coming. Gasser? Yeah. Wow. A gas rig. Go ahead and fire her up. <laughs> wow. That thing is incredible. Guys, he's loading up right now, and this load is going to Daytona Beach, Florida. Man, oh man, this guy is showing out. This this truck is ready for Daytona for sure. A lot of time and detail and money in this truck. It's beautiful. Huge props. If you're watching this video, man, good job on this build right here. This is just absolutely incredible.
definitely appreciate it, man. No doubt. Take it easy. Safe travels. Will do. Thank All right. You. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. That'd, that'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Later. Awesome. Daytona 500 Speedway. This is so cool. This is Adam right here. He is a representative of Boost Auto Parts. We just got off the airplane. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> got you. So I haven't seen the truck yet. They just dropped it off at the site. Yes. But she's actually pretty clean for what it is from Michigan all the way down here to Florida. Talk to me about the sequential talk that we're talking about. Sequential lights. Yeah. So they're new. Uh, we've had the switchbacks out since uh, mid 2018, but we just came out with the sequential. So instead of just amber flashing all the way across, this comes from the inside to the outside while you're signaling. So it just adds another dimension to your directional turn signals. And then when you turn this off, it goes white, obviously. But yeah, they're uh, they're new and everyone's loving them. So it's great. So we are here at Daytona. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy the night. Stay tuned for some more awesome content. Thanks for watching.